What's going on? It's your boy Cavi Kingpin, just for the hell of a podcast. We in this, we in the building on this Friday night. We just had a nice interview with the beautiful Rocky the Dawn. Um, Slumdog Millionaire, Justified, the Dictator. And we have actually the one of the owners of the podcast who probably you haven't heard his voice since we started yeah, here. You, know, you never heard my voice that episode, uh, never going up. Let's, let's holler at Big Rob, a.k.a. RJ, a.k.a. Roberto. What's going on, what's Roberto? Happening? What's happening? What's happening, Millennial? It's good to be in the building, man. Be in the building, man. It's definitely good. I'm happy to see Shout you. Shout out to the, the team, too, man. The team, man. Uh, I like the team. These are your employees that you don't know, and they probably don't know you. Well, shit, it definitely ain't no, we, we getting money right now, so shit, ain't no employees yet. You know what I mean, so shit. Hopefully, you know what I mean, y'all stick around because we definitely gonna get to this bread. You know what I mean, I, I I like where the show going right now. You know what I mean, it's serious. Y'all niggas stay a while and slump dog. You a ill nigga, son. <laughs> Yo. What about Justify? I think he a legend. Yo, Justify is unorthodox. He he untamed. He like the Tasmanian devil, man. That I, I got my boy, the dictator in the building, man, <laughs> with the long beard. He got the Sunni. He got the Sunni. He just, he just, he, he always around. Lot, I'm doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to T. Berry, man. Shout out, man. He he had oh, a medical a, emergency. Yo, yo, he couldn't be here. Little listen, cock. You, huh? are, you will forever be a legend in my eyes, my nigga. T. Berry, T. Berry with that Berry. little ass pipe. Whoa. Whoa. Pause. And pause. Yo, so let's get in the joint. Yo, Slum Dog. Uh, throw the topic yo. out there, bro. Uh, yeah, yo, we are talking about the importance of Instagram models in the world today, man. So, um, we just interviewed Rocky the Dawn, young, 19, and booming, cool. And what the, one thing I like about her, she's trying to do more than just be an Instagram model for now, is loud pack and do say, and uh, late nights going to Toronto and taking pictures, but. I believe she can catapult to a, a better height in her career. Justify, want to elaborate on it? Yeah, because she's sitting there, she actually expressing some real goals opposed to like how some of them, how some of these Instagram models be out here and it's like pretty much just, you know, they just try, you know, get get paid, shake their ass, and probably try to catch a case, you know, get a nigga to catch a case with, you know, a paternity suit and shit like that. You know, yeah, so she's she trying to do, you know, she trying to be positive about it, with, you know, in the world of all that neg- negativity. That's what's up, man. Slum Dog, what you think, bro? <laughs> well, you know, just from talking to her, you can tell she has a good head on her shoulders, and it seems like she got a good team around her, too. Because, you know, it's, it's like some of those girls that you're caught in the trap. Uh, you know, like people throwing money at them and stuff like that. But she said she got a good crew around her that wouldn't let that shit happen. Mm. So I think she probably can't be different from all these other Instagram models out here. Cause, and also she's young, too, you know what I'm saying? It'd be different if she was like, you know, 32, 33 talking about, <laughs> yeah, I'm out here, you know, trying to get some red. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yo, Roberto, what you think, bro? I, I mean, I personally, I have no input because I ain't talked to her. I don't know what's going on. But uh, <laughs> oh, as far as Instagram, I was like, they, I mean, I, like I said, I this ain't pertaining to her. I ain't no slate, don't guess. But I, they're there for clickbait. They're there for, you know I mean, for to get likes. That's it. I mean, half of them joints, back page joints. That just came Whoa. over the IG. Whoa. Yeah. Hold on, you said yeah, back page. <laughs> yeah, they, they back page shorts that came over the IG. Jesus, man. I mean, that shit died down. That's how they getting their bread. God Majority damn. of them. A lot of them was the bartenders. I mean, they fuck with the buyers and shit. And IG is, a, is accessible for everybody. Everybody. So, shit. That's the matter. That's they pimp. IG is they pimp, and they, I mean they get their money. Honestly, I, I ain't think mad at them. no, no, no. And I That's agree. True. With, I agree with you. You got a lot of smut, a lot of smut material going on on IG. But I think Rocky the Dawn is just a little different because she ain't trying to. Yo, like, she's not. Listen, she's the, the way y'all like Slum Dog. He 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 just portrayed her to be like she, she sound like Coretta. 
Like, I mean, Curtis like Scott she King. Got a, oh, shit. Yeah, she got a good team around her. She's solid in the village. Like, man, that's what's up. No, man, no, and I respect places. her, but she's still young. She still was like, okay, I'm about to get my makeup done. I'm blowing on some good right, trees. Right. Yeah. I'm blowing on she some... Going, was, uh, they say they getting their face beat. Yeah, she getting her face beat. She, <laughs> <laughs> she blowing on some good... She blow, what uh, do that mean? I don't know. She blowing on some good narcotic, and she about to uh, drink and go to that, Tomato. She did. Oh, she living right now. I'm, I love that. It's and Justify, what, what you think of that little that little snack? <laughs> That's it, man. I looked on her um on her IG when we was um interviewing her. She said she she, she, she fine, short, four feet eleven inches tall, and she got she whoa. Like, you know all the diarrhea. Little well, profile. That's a profile. <laughs> You she better watch them. out for them. <laughs> she got a couple. She got a couple nice pictures. She very attractive girls. A young woman. She very attractive young woman and shit. Like I said, and she did it the way she was doing it. It was classy, you know. It was classy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tastefully done. I mean, you know, she ain't sit there and threw her old ass out there and anything else like that. You know, with her tongue out and no damn dog ears and all them other filters and shit people be putting on it. <laughs> all that bullshit. <laughs> Oh, shit. I um, I think I think it's good, but it's it's a few joints out here um that I know just like just just smut life. Like they want the likes. They ain't for a nigga throw a dirty tool pick in a uh in a fucking DM. Yeah. They want to fuck for fifty dollars. They want to fuck for little <laughs> bottles Try of him. Trying to set up a paternity case for somebody making millions. Uh, two for six for the Seagram's gin. <laughs> They, these bitches is loose, and I, I admit it, these bitches is loose. They off the chisel, and I just I think it's cool use IG to promote your business, but at the same token, you can't just be out here handling tools and and promoting yourself. It's chicks that's just under this horse, just like the one I ain't gonna say her. What's her? I want to say her name, Sophia Sky, from the company we used to work for, Sophia Sky. That JK forty seven was involved with. She she's a she's a cold oh, yeah, smut. Yeah, yeah. She's a smut. Period. She's a whore. Yeah. And I'm calling because that's she not promoting nothing. Her ass cheeks is out. They long as shit. They long, super long. Super long ass cheeks like a Puerto Rican girl. Nah, they long. She like out here wilding. He said long like the McDonald's and the most shit. Damn. She out here shaking her ass for no reason, wiping her butt with old with uh uh napkins from moles. Oh, and shit. shit. It's that damn. <laughs> she ain't even eating that moles and she buying it. She taking all that napkins and wiping her ass. Come on, bro. And stealing all the plasticware. Yeah, it's stealing all the silverware. I'll tell you, what you thinking that, Justin? Why, why would you go to moles and not eat there but take the napkins to wipe your ass? <laughs> Yo, break Maybe that down, bro. Fly. Fuck, I don't know shit. <laughs> what you thinking that? <laughs> Maybe she is two ply shit. I don't know. You know, motherfuckers, you know, some motherfuckers go into a place, they be like, yo, can I use your bathroom real quick? She just running there, just to, it's not like she just coming there and just take their shit. Uh, she wrapping his napkin, bro. <laughs> and the plastic <laughs> napkin, like you just said. Yo, yo, Roberto, what you think of that sandwich? What the fuck are you doing with these goddamn sporks? Mad, mad condiment. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you got a stack of napkins in your bathroom with no toilet tissue. You just. Mm. <laughs> but you, listen. You go to a good spot. Yo. What, what spot that be having the forks and shit? You go to Chick fil A? Ooh. Uh, they take, they gonna have their whole kitchen late. Hey, speaking of Chick fil A, if they had that Chick fil A sauce sitting out, I grab mad packets of that shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That, Polynesian, that Polynesian sauce is the shit. Yo. Yeah, Polynesian is on point. That shit, that Polynesian is on fire. Hey, that's why they ask you to how much you want. They don't have a big stack for you to grab. <laughs> oh, they give it to you from over the counter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yo, but my 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 thing is this. Promote your business, get it out there, but most times you're just promoting just smuttery. Uncut smuttery. And some yo, niggas yo, like yo. it. You got niggas just dirty son of a bitches who like it. Nah, mm, but no, you but you and but you got that's what you that's what they feed it to. And I mean, you got niggas that sit around all day and and, and, and shoot shoot messages to niggas like, yo, man, damn man, look at this ass. Like, damn, man, look at this ass. <laughs> Hold on, let the dictator. Go ahead, dictator. Now, jumping off the smuttery, um, now we have some Instagram models that are doing uh, Connect Pals and this, that, and the other, selling basically. You on what? 
Yeah. I don't know nothing about this nigga talking about. Go ahead. They have like little connect files or OnlyFans page, and then they have little private stuff. Sound like a customer to me. Just selling ass. They could be doing other things. Like they beautiful women, but they over here doing that. I mean, they making mad money, but shit. Come on, now. I seen somebody with. Uh, hey, but, that, hey, but that's you think of, that's that's what a young that's. This is this what it was like for for niggas growing up in the hood. Niggas looked up the dope dealers. These motherfuckers just look the, the young 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 women. Is looking up to the IT models like, man, I'm going to sell me some ass real quick and oh, get me a cheat. <laughs> no, yeah, he, that's what he was like. Because that's, mm-hmm. man, that's what's selling. You got to look at it, man. Sex sells nowadays, man. Yeah, I mean, and like, I, all they got to do is give a nigga a little bit of play and he'll throw, him a couple, she'll, he'll throw her a couple hundred dollars. Just do it, man. I just, see, I mean, it, it's like I said, being, being Instagram famous is the new drug, like real talk. It's really the new drug. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, people, I, I, people, I, agree. I agree with that. I agree. Shit. Right. I, I think, people, go ahead, bro. People are killed for that shit. Like I said, anything is done for likes. Like, if Instagram was shit, I, I know y'all heard it a lot of times, but Instagram was out when we was coming up to shit. We'd oh, be famous. That should be a problem. <laughs> Niggas mm-hmm. be in jail. <laughs> yeah. I mean, niggas, I mean, because we would have put, and and I ain't talking about just famous, like, niggas be arrested, niggas, because niggas be doing dumb shit on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. a fact. I will say, I just just watched the Wu-Tang joint, man. That shit was crazy. That's a sidebar on Showtime. That shit was ill. I saw a commercial for that earlier, too. Four-part series, right? Yeah, it's a four-part series. That shit was ill, man. That shit was ill. Legendary. But yeah, though, the IG models is is definitely the new... The new... That's the new wave, man. That's the new wave. Uh-oh. Shit. I, I will say... I will say this. Go ahead, Just My bad. You can... Speaking with you know, so, you know, speaking about these IG models, I'm saying like this: in about a month, Zion Williamson is going to be picked number one in the NBA draft. Mm. Now, oh, without question. Yeah. So now, if if this gets back to Zion Williamson, I want him to hear me. I want him to hear me good. You a good ball player. Don't think that these these damn Instagram models that's going to start blowing your shit up if they already haven't tried to do it. Is out for you because you, you know, because you know you um, a decent human being. They know how much millions your ass is about to come into as far as endorsements and the NBA and everything like that. And we, this is the part of the this is the Instagram models we talking about that makes all the other ones look bad. Because shit, if you blow them off, if you don't try to, you know, if they come after you and everything like that, they gonna sit there try to ruin your ass and you know incriminate the fuck out of you on Instagram. The same way that, you know, they're going to use what you use to see her against your ass. So, Zion with well, see, you, I'll, that play, keep your ass away from them damn girls on Instagram. I think he lucked up, though, because I'm something not. like that already happened to him. Well, it happened Duke, to him at Duke already. Yeah, it already yeah, happened. But the thing with him was, he almost, shit, one of them damn white girls, two white girls actually, tried right. to say that he tried to slide into their DM and everything like that. And I hope he, caught, he realized from that that, you know, Everything they else. not out here for you, man. They out here for your money. Mm-hmm. And, I, and not all Instagram models that look like females are females. Dwight Howard is learning that shit the hard way right now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fucking crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. That damn big Frida looking motherfucker. You can't tell me. That big Frida. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. New Orleans bounce music. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, so this is this is right, smoking narcotics. But listen, this is this is this is the thing with me. Rocky the Dawn, we got her back. Crown right. Jewels Entertainment, just for the other podcast. We're gonna try to put her in the right joint. We don't want her to get out of control. We don't want her next thing you know, you got black youngsters. Shout out to him, he and her guts. On the bed wow. full of money. 
in a bed full of money. God damn. Or smoking too many loud blunts. Or make a mistake and hit the PCP uh, cigarette. We, we don't want that. No, yo, but if she, if she can't smoke, she, yo, she won't do that if she, she got to smoke her own shit. You can't take anything that everybody passes. You know, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't believe we should be passing L's anyway. No more. Period. People I, nasty. I think the great. I think the great Cameron Giles said on his song, uh, "What was it? Purple Haze." He said, "Hold up, Tito. Let me go roll up. Your own brother pass you something." I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to quote that too. Right before you said, that, I was about to quote. That I think that's that was the fact. hardest line ever talked about. That's that's a fact, man. I, she she is she man. You can't be smoking anything. Everybody classy. Look at uh, Ocella. Look at that shit that just happened. Oh, oh the herpes herpy outbreak. Yeah, yeah, the herpes outbreak. Nigga, you nigga pass you a joint, got this shit on his lip. <laughs> Bump, this Bumpy shit Johnson, on his lip. little Bumpy Johnson. Yo, shit on his, yeah, that shit on your lip got some shit on his lip. <laughs> uh, man, little Bumpy Johnson. Um, yo, fuck that noise, dog. So <laughs> shit, let, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was about to say, let's get our final <laughs> thoughts on this. Um, we're gonna start with Justify. Final thoughts on the importance of Instagram models. Fuck them Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, justify. <laughs> the importance of it. Um, well, shit, you look at it like this. Before they really started doing Instagram, uh, what, what was the most thing most people would see on, um, like the internet? Be usually be some white boys doing some dumb shit like rolling, going somebody in the shopping cart, rolling down the hill into the fucking damn interstate, Jackass. shooting fireworks out their asshole and shit like that. Or the, the two girls in the cup. Well, you know, so now, I mean, Instagram models kind of take away from that because you see something different. But at the same time, it's something I guess that is more favorable to, you know, some horny motherfuckers that ain't getting no pussy. And, you know, <coughs> people who think that, you know, if they're rich and famous, that they could just snatch one up just because they got it like that. And all of a sudden, when they think they got it like that, they get got like that. So what are you talking nine about? Times out of 10, that's the case, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, Slumdog. Well, I'm going to say this to her, man. Because um, this, this goes out to all Instagram models. Now, I mean, if you're, like, up and coming on it. If you want to use that to catapult yourself into something else, that's fine. But if you're trying to, like, coast off that shit, listen, man, get that now. It's real. Because if you look at it, I'm going to go off of what Justify said, man. He said it's something different to look at. But I'm going to say it like this, man. All them Instagram models, it's the same girl, different flavor, though, man. That's Dang, girl. You know, talk that shit, man. No. You shallow as hell, man. man. But like I said, it's... Man, I don't even think that they all shallow. I think that's nine times out of ten, that's an easy bag. You know I mean? Right, right. It's an easy bag. So that's that's the, that's the, new, that's the new hustle. Point blank for... If you got a, if you if you young, you banging, you got a body, that's stay hustle. Get your money, young girl. Like you said, can't afford that shit and some other shit. Get I, your money though. I think. Shout out to Rocky the Dawn. Um, rest of them bitches. If you ain't getting no money off that shit, quit. If you just getting dirty, quit. you getting dirty mm-hmm. cock and apes of weed. I think just stop it. But I think. Try to take it to the next level. I'm not knocking nobody hustle. Whatever you do, whether you selling box, I don't care what you're doing. But just try to take it to the next level. Just don't stay stagnated. And again, shout hey, out like, to Rocky hey, the Dome. We're going to help her out. Yeah, that's it. Yo, you, you, yo. you can do this shit at 21, but shit, when you hit 45, 50, you can't still be on Instagram acting like you shaking, you know, trying to do all that shit you doing. If you if you burn these... Look at Bernie's old ass. This motherfucker, she still doing this shit. But she took Bernie's it to the like next sexy. level, though. I can't knock yeah. it. She took it to the next level. That sexy motherfucker to the next level. I'm you, sorry. They, they, they like, uh, you get them, they like that watermelon Syrah. Mm. Just for the hell of it podcast. <laughs> but, yo, real talk, though. I mean, to, final word, just to each his own. But just make sure you have a purpose of what you're doing. Just don't be slanging box. So from Just For The Elevate Podcast, we see y'all soon. Shout out to Rocky The Dawn. 
Let's go.